Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you some more advanced F12 tricks and algorithms including this case where the corner is solved and the edge is flipped in the other slot being solved like this. So the first case is when you have a corner that is solved in your left slot and then in the right slot you have the edge that needs to go here except that it's flipped. So basically a, what a lot of people do is they can just do a U like a wide U and that will pair them up then they can just take it out and then insert it. So that's actually a pretty decent way to do it, but it's definitely not the best. And one of my favorite ways to do this case is to use R and wide U moves. And it only takes five moves, so it's actually a pretty short algorithm. So you hold it from the front like this, such that the corner is on the left, and you can do R prime, wide U prime, R, wide U, R. And that will preserve the cross and will solve this pair. The great thing about this is that it also does not interfere with any of the pairs at the back. Now the same also goes for the mirror of the case when the corner that is soft is in the right slot and the edge is in the left slot. You can do the exact same algorithm like this. And that will also preserve both pairs in the back but just solve the right pair instead. So now I'm going to teach you some basic keyhole. Keyhole is basically when you have either edge or a corner solved. So in this case, you have the edge soft and this corner needs to go into here. So what we can do is remove this slot where the corner needs to go, we move it away and then we can insert this corner into here and then we can restore the cross and that will solve this pair. Now the exact same thing also works for the edges. So if the corner is soft, you can actually do a D to move it away and you can insert this edge into here and then you can restore the cross and that will solve this pair. But keep in mind that keyhole sometimes messes up some other pairs so you can't always use it, especially if you're in like the last slot or second last slot. But remember, whenever you're doing an edge, make sure you put an unsolved corner below it. That way, you'll make sure that you preserve all your other pairs. Now, in the case where the edge is solved but the corner is not and you want to use keyhole, make sure you move the unsolved slot over another unsolved slot. Whereas if you move it over a pre-solved slot already, and then you insert this, that will actually mess up the pair. So whenever you're doing keyhole, try to make sure that you're always making use of empty or unsolved slots to pair up your pieces. Okay, next up we have this case, which is a pretty common case, is when the pair is solved but flipped in its own slot. So basically, there are a bunch of ways you can do this, such as just taking the pair out and inserting it normally, which is a pretty decent way, but it's not the fastest way. And another way is the way that I'm going to show you today, which is moving the corner over here with a U prime. And then you can just do a sledgehammer and that will actually pair this up. Now you can just insert it straight away. Same goes for the left slot. You can also do a U layer move to move the corner all the way to the back. Sledgehammer and just insert it as per normal. Now we have this case. I actually showed how you can solve this case in part one of my advanced F12 tricks and algorithms video, which you can see using the card up here or follow the link in the video description. So in that video, I showed how you can use a wide sexy sledgehammer to solve this but there is another way to solve this which doesn't require white moves although i'm not too sure why you wouldn't want to use white moves because white else is basically just our moves but if for some reason you're not a big fan of that algorithm here's another way to solve this case as the corner is solved and the edge lines up on the right side you move the edge all the way to the back and doing a sledgehammer will pair them up then you can just insert it as per normal same goes for the left slot if the corner solves on the left side and this color lines up here, you can do a U to move the pair to the back, sledgehammer with your left hand, and then you have a three move insert. So this is a pretty well known case, which is R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, which basically swaps these two edges. Now this is basically what I like to call the half algorithm of this exact same case. So basically these two cases are identical, except that these two will solve two pairs at once, and this will only solve one pair which is this corner and this edge right here. So you need to move this edge over to this slot. If you're facing it from the front, what you can actually do is F prime move to move the edge into the top. And then you do R prime, F2, R, and then that will pair them up. And you can do an F to solve the cross. So this is basically the mirror case and you will be solving the pair on the right. So you can do the same thing just with your left hand, F, L, F2, L prime that will pair them up and you can just do an F prime. But if you don't like doing L moves, here's another way of looking at it. Once again, you do F, but instead of doing L, you can visualize that you're doing a wide R, U2, wide R prime, 
f prime and that's basically the same algorithm just a different interpretation if you're not a big fan of l moves so this is the last case and i actually showed this in my video on how to solve wrongly inserted f dot pass which you can look at by visiting the card at the top right hand corner or following the link in the video description so what you are going to do in this case is swapping this pair with this pair so the algorithm is actually r prime l and now you can just do a u2 to swap both of them and reverse those two moves However, this is not the most finger trick friendly and I see many people doing really bad finger tricks for this case. So the way I do it requires a regroup in the beginning, but then it's really fast after that. So basically what I do in this case is I put my thumb at the top and then I put my left index finger over here and I can do R prime and L at the same time U2, R and L. So doing it fast will look something like this. So if you guys do want to check out part 1 and part 2 of this series, then you can follow the links in the video description. Also, if you guys want sneak peeks or even the ability to vote for videos, then follow me on Instagram at m underscore Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.